The kidney is such an important organ, but when it fails, the outcomes can be devastating. 80% of patients waiting for an organ transplant are waiting for a kidney. We have been working in the area of regenerative medicine. Our strategy focuses on taking a very small biopsy of the patient's own kidney tissue, less than half the size of a postage stamp. We can then expand those cells outside the body into very large quantities and then use them to seed those cells onto a three-dimensional scaffold in the shape of the organ. We can then implant those scaffolds fully seeded and show functionality in preclinical models. Our goal is to advance this technology further so in the future we can put these straight into patients in need. At Trestle, we're bioengineering kidneys for patients with kidney failure. We do that by leveraging the power of stem cell biology and 3D bioprinting to build sophisticated, functional tissues that will get patients off dialysis and delay their need for transplantation. The dream is that these patients never see dialysis, that we're able to provide them an option to recover lost kidney function with a bioengineered organ that's been created with their own cells. At Trestle, we're building the framework to make that dream a reality. What we're going to do is we're trying to do to transplant pig kidneys from genetically modified pigs into human subjects. And we're using the baboon as the surrogate for the human. And we have survival now for several months of these pig kidneys maintaining life in monkeys and baboons and uh, we are going to use the money in the grant uh, to enable us to modify the immunosuppressive regimen that we're using to prevent rejection of the graft uh, so that we can make the results more consistent and then we'll be able to begin a clinical trial in selected patients within the next couple of years i hope together with my team i'm working to develop technologies where ultimately we will be able to take cells from a patient and create renal grafts that can be implanted similar to a donor organ. The big difference here is that these organs will not require immunosuppression. There will not be any supply issue, no donor organ shortage, and they will replace the key kidney functions to make patients independent of hemodialysis and restate health. Our goal here is to generate genetically modified pigs that can serve as organ donors for people suffering from kidney failure. We're optimistic that we are rapidly approaching a first in human clinical trial, and we are very hopeful that the results will allow us to quickly enter uh, clinical therapies and make this opportunity broadly available to patients. Our team's goal is to generate functional artificial kidneys from stem cells. Artificial kidneys that are suitable for drug discovery and also serving as bioartificial kidneys for transplantation. Our submission describes how we generate constructs in vitro and connect artificial nephrons to a common drainage system. Without a connection to a drainage system, any artificial kidney would lack the capacity to drain the unwanted filtrate or urine, making it impossible to use these con constructs either in vitro or in vivo. Our Kidney X submission will move the field of the artificial kidney a decisive step forwards towards clinical applications and will be the basis of the construction of a functional filtration unit in VIVA. We're combining the expertise in the Lindstrom lab. We are experts in human, kidney and organoid development with the new synthetic cellular systems developed in the Marsut lab, experts in synthetic biology. We will generate artificial kidneys entirely from stem cells and lead the way towards artificial kidneys for transplantation. Fight on. My team and I are working to develop an implantable bioartificial kidney. It brings together a mechanical filtration unit together with kidney cell therapy to provide the key functions of a healthy kidney. The device is surgically implanted and pro allows the patient to move freely, eat and drink as they want, all without the need for immune suppression drugs. The idea behind this project is to combine tissue engineering, 
stem cell technology and the clinical practice of peritoneal dialysis to provide a potential solution to the shortage of available kidneys for transplantation.